Hi, this is Carl Gude, and this is part eight of uh, how to make a map in Adobe Illustrator CS4. I've broken it into about six to ten minute chunks, and um, you can pick and choose what you want to know. What I'm going to do now is you can see I've uh, finished labeling uh, my map, and uh, I've uh, put the other lakes in. The uh, What I need now are some roads, and what I'm going to do again is go back to my layers palette and turn off the uh, the polygons that are the lakes and the polygons of the states that are blocking my reference. As a matter of fact, all of this stuff is in the way now. I'm going to just turn off all of those layers, which is a really good reason to turn have things layered. And I'm going to put click on the roads layer to work on. And I'm not going to draw all of these these roads. Um, I I do wish there were more roads going through uh, going through some of these other states because they're going to look a little barren. But that's okay. I also wish this map had a mileage scale on it. Uh, but that's just uh, not to be there. And so what I'll, to make roads, it's not a secret. You don't want to fill on them. You want a line. So I'm going to click on this fill color and say none. And I'm going to click on the, 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 the line, uh, bring it to the foreground. And it really doesn't matter what line, what color I draw. I can, I can draw with, um, with, with black for now. I can always go ahead and change that color. Uh, right, the important thing right now is that I see my lines. So what I'm going to do is separate the roads into interstates, and uh, um, and I'm not going to draw all of the interstates, but I can see that this is uh, I-75 coming out of uh, Detroit. So I'm just going to trace that line. I could get in a lot closer and really do this perfectly, um, and I would definitely do that if it was for publication. But this is for demonstration, so um, you got some little jogs and stuff going on in there. Um, I know that 75 ends right here and 127 picks up. So I know I'm going to go ahead and draw 127 right through. Oh, that's 23. Not not the right one. Uh, I wish that would. Those aren't labeled, so I'm I'm lost. I'm not from Michigan. So I'm going to draw some of these straights here. I would be more careful to check that this was all I-94, uh, and I believe it is, but I would be much more careful if I was publishing this. So we'll, we'll do that one. Here's another one that is uh, I-96. And we'll, uh, we'll draw that. It goes, goes here. It actually kind of goes around and comes up this way, heads through Grand Rapids, and goes that way. Close enough for uh, government work. Uh, it's again, this is just to illustrate the point. So I have those nice big fat lines. And you know maybe what I'll do is uh, for the uh, thinner lines, I'm going to go ahead and make this a different color just so that I can select them. I'll make that a, a green for now. It doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, reduce this to maybe uh, half a point in width. And I'll just draw in some of these, these roads uh, just, to, just to make it look cool. Now, the roads want to be behind the city dots. Um, because you can see there's there's a road there. I wasn't very perfect on that, but we're getting the, getting the roads in here. That ends there. Uh, this is coming out of Grand Haven. I'm gonna put them in. Now it's hard to draw this this interstate symbol. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my symbols window symbols and uh, oh I already had that open. No I didn't. Okay so there's my symbols. Go to um, Additional Options here button and open up the Swatch Library, and you'll see that there is all of this fun stuff for symbols. And uh, I'm going to select the Maps Library, and there's my Map Library. And I can actually, um, uh, I just, uh, I'm a little sluggish here, so my computer. So I'm going to drag that symbol out of there, and uh, it's a little big and clunky, and it's got a whole bunch of you know standard symbols in here for maps. And now you can see that that is there. Um, what I'm going to do here is double click on that symbol, and you're about to edit the symbol definition. Edit, edit, any edits to this symbol will be applied to all its instances, and that's what I want. It's a little, um, we can, if I wanted to make, I think that line is a little, uh, a little fat around it. So I'm actually going to um, uh, thin that line out by selecting the. Um, Matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of the line. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to click on the colors and actually give it no line weight, no, no line color, and I think that'll look a little bit more elegant. And I'm also going to resize this a bit. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, a little big. And now, I, if I if I double click outside of that, I'm it releases me from editing just that symbol, and I can go in and. Um, 
type a number on top of there. Let's, let's, I know one of them was 96, so I'm just going to type in 96. And I don't want that to be italic. I'm going to say make that regular. And uh, that's a little big. We'll make that seven point. And I want it to be a white fill. Not, so I'll click on that fill color and bring it to the foreground. And uh, you know this is this is a little a little spread out, but we'll leave it for now. And uh, now I can select the symbol and I can group this whole thing together and uh, zoom back out and uh, not quite that far and move that little symbol around. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, you know what I'm going to there is a lot of space in between those and that's because of I think the last thing I did with the font was to um, was to uh, spread the, the state name apart. So I'm actually going to select that, um, double click on the, the, the thing, on, on it, and hit Command T, Apple T, which uh, you'll see that I do have a 200, 200 uh, spread here. And I'm going to just type a zero that where, where, where it fits the, uh, on the kerning, it's called. And so you can see now that's closer together and it looks a lot better. So um, move that move that over just a little and don't worry about it. I could be very careful with this if I want if I zoomed in. Group that and now again I'll hold the option key down and I'll just drag that around. That, that's uh, set, that's I-75 actually. This is 96. This one down here is um, is 70 uh, is is 94. So I'm gonna come down here and zoom in on these four these three highways and and select this and go 94. And this one up here is I-75. And the other one is 96. So there I have my three interstates. Um, uh, turn my other layers back on so I can see what this map is actually looking like. And dates, the lake, and the city dots, labels, and borders. All of that stuff is on. My now my 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 roads are kind of ugly. They're basically really um, black and horsey looking. So I'm going to select that black line, and I'm going to say select same uh, stroke color. I think that's the only black line on there. It should only select highways, and that's right. So now I can come here and uh, uh, my borders are are white opaque, so I can't make the roads that color. Uh, so I'm kind of uh, limited as to what I can do. So the roads aren't quite working just yet. I'm going to play with those. It's behind the city dots right there so that they're no longer. Now Petoskey and the other cities are on top. Uh, and that's that. So na last thing I'm going to do is I'll fix the roads up. Then I'm going to do a, a clipping mask. I'm going to trim the edges of this map, and then we'll be all done.